Well, I welcome everyone to the round six rundown of the Rich River Premier League. My name is Ben Tapper Pat, and we've got Richard Kale for the Australian Head Pro of the Year. Well done, mm -hmm. Richard. Thank you very much, Ben. Well Thank you. Heard a bit of that in the last couple mm -hmm. of weeks. Or yeah, weeks it's good fun. Thank it's you. Good fun. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. 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 While we're on that topic, I've just got a quick one yeah. for you here. Yeah. You had a little whinge about the photo in the paper during the week. Thought you had no hair. Didn't oh, I know. Like, didn't, like didn't like the angle <laughs> on the no, photo. Someone and, said it looked good. I just didn't think it looked that yeah, good. No, it didn't look real good. I mean, it was okay. More to do with the yeah. subject. Yeah, but um, I've had a little article coming here again this week. Yeah. What about your hair in that one? See, I had hair there. Had hair there. Had a nice shirt too. And it was said to Steve, it's not bad dress sense for you. It's got chairs. Is that what I wore that night? God, yeah. Oh, Jesus. A bit ahead of your time there, I reckon. I, you know, I, was, fairly, I was fairly cool. Yeah. The girls didn't mind it, I think. <laughs> they reckon that photo is a bit better. I was only 15 then. Eh? I don't care. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Yeah, no, Thank you very much. And thanks to everyone that's, um, that has come in and congratulated. It was an exciting night. It was good. Yeah, it been um, very didn't get to meet Greg, but no. um, it was really good. Yeah. I'm sure, as we said before, everyone that's gone away and asked Greg, has they, did he meet Richard K. Alpha? Like everyone's asked you, has they, have you met Greg? But, yeah. um, a couple other players were around. It was good. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a good week. Had to hold yourself away from Robin Allen, mm. not to the yeah. strip clubs. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so round six, we had the Turtles defeated the Grandads, one thirty-one to one twenty-six. Um, Turtles had a few good scores in yeah, there. Yeah, Longy, Len Drill. That's that's different for Len, isn't it? An average yeah. score of thirty-three. He normally has. 15 points or, yeah, or 50 points. points. Yeah, so he's not not known as being average. I reckon he's had 33 a few times this year. He's, he's <laughs> changed something and it's, it's working. He's yeah. getting in the top four anyway and, and keeping the turtles Joel ticking can't along. put it together though, can he? No, uh, he's, he's a bit like Lance. 40, 41. They still did enough to win? They did, yeah. Jim Wagstaff, 35, and, and Terry Jeffries. Didn't have a hole in rain this week? No, no, yeah. he didn't, no. Um, no but he's had four or five, I think, so mm. he's probably due again yeah. soon. So, um, yeah, John, uh, Terry Jeffries, Jack Crawford, both 33, and, and you know you're not going to win many games when you've got your fourth boat getting 25. 25. Yeah, Murray Matthews, 25 points, so not going to win many matches. Geez, Divots did well this week. They 143 did, yeah. defeated the Cinderella Boys, 126. Yeah, Harley Williams, no, no standout score, but just no, all, 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 all good. All pretty consistent, 38, 37 for T-Bone Metallic. Um, backbone for backbone, 36. I know, idea who you're talking about. You've got no idea who, even if I put Why don't you put the bloody names there? Well, even if I did that, you probably wouldn't know <laughs> who they were, but anyway. Um, and Hilly and, and Andrew Tawada had 32 just to round out the top four for the, the Dirty Divots. Um, Long Basher. Yeah, Long Basher, 34. 34. Yeah, look, this starts off ordinary. 34. Gav, 29 again. Yeah, yeah. Is that what earning the... He, Grabbed a hold of the Cinderella hat this week. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was, was this week, week, but I think it was for when he had his 23 and got in the top four, or 25, whatever he did to get in the top four. But we can't bag He's got him. actually a lesson today, so we'll see how it goes <laughs> next week. We might be bagging ourselves for not doing our fixing. Bagging, because he does bring in some nice cakes. He's not nice. All yeah. bloody beautiful today. They were very nice today. We might see if we can get them again. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so again, I keep um, going on about it, but I reckon they're gone, Cinderella boys. Do you? And that's, yeah, I do. You don't watch any of these no. days, I have said it before, they're, they're gone, anyway. <laughs> Teacups, they're really, good. really bounced back. They, How are they going anyway? They're third, third on the ladder. Third, they've beaten last year's grand, uh, well, premiers, last year's premiers, the like the heroes, by whopping 10 points. So they are just flying along, better than what probably most predicted. The, the, there was a situation that um, there was a change with the ladies schools, wasn't there, this year? But they were recalculated on the tick. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you got one on me. <laughs> they get recalculated at the start of the year. Um, Tony was finding out that they were they were um, a bit behind the eight ball, the ladies, when they were playing in. Is that what Cole brought yeah. up about, was it? Yeah, Cole this change. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 So they readjust their scores slightly, and um, I don't think a hell of a lot. No. But I mean, they you know, have 35 points, and it's got to be somewhere around that mark anyway. So, yeah. So. And maybe some good girls in there too. Might be. Yeah. 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 Some. You know, Jenny Bowie, Steve Simons. Simons. Jenny's um, done pretty well. Yeah, she hasn't played that much yeah. moving out. So. Joy Kelly's been up there most weeks too. So they're pretty consistent this year, which is nice to see. But yeah, reluctant heroes need to start pulling their socks up a bit. They might slip out of the top four if they're not careful. Mm. Um, Kirk Hardley, the only one really there. Getting them along this week, 35. All the rest, 31. 
Steve Jones, Chewback and Tomlinson and Kev Drennan all on 31. Not good enough to beat many teams this week, really. So, no. no. Next one, Richard, here we go. Yeah. What was, it close? was, was it, close it close game? <laughs> was it close game? Cavs yeah, was it? 132, defeated loose cannons 131. It was a wooden spoon match we, was it? we mentioned last week. Yeah, and they're still both on the bottom though. They are, yeah. So loose cannons were on the bottom before? They were, yeah. Loose cannons haven't moved. Haven't won a game? No. They won one. They probably had to buy. <laughs> so, yeah, well, we won't really go through then. No. You guys really said not. to in, speak about Chad, but you said no, you're not this week. Every so, week. So and we don't need to speak about them. Andy and Kev. No. Ian Madison, 38. Probably well, equal with Harley Williams is the best scorer out of the, the week, but he just had nothing behind him to, to help him out. So, not going to win many matches like that. Um, sorry, Kev. No, no, no. no you're right. No. <laughs> yeah, and the Falcons had to buy. Um, which they probably needed because 131 wasn't going to beat many teams this week either. So Chad 35, Pete Durant 32, and well, it would have drawn level with two other teams and beaten two other teams. So it mightn't beat many other weeks. Then. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a chaotic week. Um, we'll go into the ladder. The Fockers still just cruising along up the top. They're one game clear of the Dirty Divots, who are just flying along now. Teacups, as we mentioned, up in the third position, and Reluctant Heroes just holding on to fourth spot, only by a couple of percent. Um, then we go into the Grandads, Cinderella Boys, and Turtles all on three wins, and only percentage holds them out of the top four. And the other two are, are no hopers, the Power Faders and the Loose Cannons got no chance. Mm. Um, you can turn around quick though, can't you? you can, Not this season, I'm talking No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> good pre-season that they might come right next year. But, <laughs> Um, yeah, definitely still the top four, still wide open. There's only three rounds to go before we hit finals, so the ones out of the top four just need to keep winning and, and hope something happens between the reluctant heroes and the teacups. Hopefully they start going backwards over the next couple of weeks. And they so we'll go through round seven. Well, I just wondered, the turtles and the teacups, and where they sit on the ladder and where they might need, what they might need to do. So the teacups yeah. need to keep winning, don't yeah. they? Turtles, yeah. And the turtles, turtles can right. equal the teacups if they... So they, they could win. Yeah, they could shoot in. Yeah. And um, probably overtake them with percentage too, because their percentage isn't that far off teacup. No, so that'd not. be a really important win. Um, Cinderella Maybe boys and the power faders play. That's probably nothing exciting about that match. No. It's only really good no. for the Cinderella boys. They need the to win. They do need to win, yeah, to give themselves any chance. This um, is probably the the better the match. The next one, Reluctant Heroes, yeah. Heroes, yeah. Uh, granddads have a win. Reluctant Heroes will either drop out of the top four. Yeah. Um, yeah, they will. Yeah, they're gone. So That's they need to match. win. They really need to win, and then it's a, a top, top the divots. Yeah, top spot match, um, and they will just secure your position then. Yeah, because yeah. you get dirty divots are a little bit vulnerable. They are. Yeah, they're, again, like last year, they started slow and then started with They'll be top four, but they started slow last year. We wrote them off, wrote them off yeah. and then they bounced back and. Um, made it to the grand final so they still yeah they'll definitely be top four anyway um, but yeah they can jump up the top spot if they have a big win against the Fockers and the bye might overtake the loose cannons <laughs> might be the first week we've ever had the bye beat a team so <laughs> the loose cannons they're just gonna their percentage is still below the bye they won't get above the bye this week by percentage so they're just one of those teams that you just have to have I suppose to hold everyone else up really so we've got three weeks to go, so they're starting to become very important, aren't they? They are, yeah, for some teams anyway, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, yeah. So we only had a couple of awards this week. It was a pretty pretty quiet week on the front of people being stupid and, and not mm -hmm. really giving us much information. Maybe Christmas coming up. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, but Sook of the Week went to Gav Radley, big Gav. Um, he was a bit sooky when he was. He didn't want to take that hat. No, he was no, trying no. to find ways to give it back to Dion and then back to Luke. We walk and, off, we called him back, yeah, yeah. walked back. He was just, he didn't want to have it, but unfortunately he dropped the head and, and gave in in the end and, and popped it on in the shop and we got a nice little photo there. So he gets the Sook of the Week award, probably the first time he's had it. I and that think. replaces the Barbie Cup? It does, yeah, the Barbie Cup. What happened last Barbie? year? I don't know, Dan probably smashed it because he had it for most <laughs> of the last year. So he probably got rid of that or gave it to one of his kids and had to find another solution and the Barbie uh, the Cinderella hat's it so you'll see that getting around the course each week and you'll know that's the worst score for the Cinderella boys each week mm. um, 
We had team play, a bit of a funny one. Um, Youngie's driven in the shop there, or walked in the shop and said, have a look at Hilly's lips. He's still got lipstick on. I said, what? What, what do you mean? He goes, oh, he had his Christmas party last night. He's just come straight from there. Still got a lady's lipsticks on his on his lips. So he had a closer look, and yes, he had a bit of lipstick still on his lips. Um, still managed to get out there. He still looked pissed. He was not all there. Got out there, played, and I think he got in the top four. 32 points, uh, 30, yeah, 32 points I think he had there. So he's going to get team player of the, of the week, I reckon. Not a bad effort to even get out of the house with lipstick on, I reckon. Maybe home. he didn't. He yeah, probably home. didn't get home. So, young, he might just have a spare pair of golf clothes in his car and said, "Pop these on and we'll go." Might be what he goes out. We could do. I'm not sure. Yeah. No, no, no we've probably got one episode left of this, and then Amy's on holidays, so we'll get one more episode in next week, and then we'll have. We'll a just break. have that one. One week just break. One week. Yep. Because then Premier League has a bit of a break over Christmas. Back but thank you, Forex. Thank you, Amy, and we'll see you next week. Thank, thank you very much.